you welcome to geekism and welcome back to uh blockbuster inc where we are um uh, gonna be cracking up sorry i just realized that was over there and i've never noticed it before can we sell it <laughs> probably can sell it i won't sell it though we're gonna keep it we're gonna keep it we're gonna pretend we care about it uh, okay right so we are in 1921 i really want to kind of uh, almost race through the game a little bit. I want to see what our research is going to unlock as the uh, as the dates move forward, as the time moves forward. Um, we have a few bits of feedback from the uh, from the first couple of episodes. Uh, first of all, people were saying it's weird that they eat at the end of the day. They should instead eat in the middle of the day. And I suppose really one, two, three, four, five, six. There, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, what what I didn't want it to do was it to sort of break a middle of a scene you know they just sort of dump it and eat for an hour so but i suppose that's fine um so we'll we'll do that and see if that makes any difference uh, researchers are getting to work and uh, and we don't actually have a, a movie being made at the moment so i think we need to work on that we have who sucked the blood and captain nobeard's hidden hall both at 56 and 55 so we're going to try and really make a good movie this time we're going to we're going to um, put a bit of effort into the scenes uh, we're going to put a bit of effort into reshoots and that sort of thing um i the only thing i'm not sure about at the moment let me sort of come down here so i can see what's going on where is one of our actors francis ramirez um she has the athletic and charisma we can train but when, uh, that's that's what i was looking for train we don't have the ability to train yet or do we do that on a set Move to different location. Eighty percent, eighty percent. Set equipment. Ah, uh, oh, did we? Ah, uh, did we not do that last time either? As well. Let's have a look. Oh, we didn't give it the better camera and the better lighting. We should have done that last time. Um, but that's that's okay. And we can do that here as well, right? Ah, so that'll make an improvement this time. Although actually, uh, ah, there we are seeing microphones here, as opposed to. Oh, we can do a double. Oh my goodness! Well, we didn't know that, did we? We can do a double camera setup. Oh, okay. Well, we're happy to do this because we've got the money. There we go. So microphones—they're blanked out. We don't have them unlocked yet through research. I don't think. Let's have a look. Uh, research uh, production—it's not there. We do have a high budget though. Um, and we do have a couple of new genres, but we we haven't got a ton of the research. This seems to generate pretty slowly. Uh, although, we seem to have the money. I think what we're going to do is come into here. We're going to edit this building in build mode. All right, let's... Can we, can we drag it? We can. Let's bring that to here. There we go. It doesn't move the radiator. It just makes it disappear. Well, that's what it is what it is. We'll... Uh, oops. We'll bring this round. There we go. And then we'll add in uh, two more research desks. And we'll see if this can help uh, help our research gain. We'll put those in there. And then we'll come to hire employees. And we'll come to researchers. Oh, no, no researchers. Uh, next refresh is in May. April we're in currently. Okay, that's fine. Uh, hopefully we'll we'll be able to hire some more researchers in a moment. Uh, in the meantime, though, let's let's do this properly. Uh, Windows. Yeah, and can we? There is a clone tool, is there not? Eye dropper, that thing. Thank you. There we go. We'll carry those over for a little for now. All right. So we'll get some more research in there once we can hire them. Uh, we need to do work on some sets. Now, uh, let's have a look about that then. That is down here, build sets. So um, we have our default set. We have our pirate and pirate. We're going to build a couple of new ones. And we're going to build a new theme, a theme that we haven't done before. We're going to set the size to be large for our first one. And we're going to set the theme to be... Uh, I believe we can it really depends on that we need to come back to this it really depends on the on the themes we can make a movie about because we technically want to keep them tied together so production here we go so uh genre we can do a romance we haven't done we could do a comedy um the theme is what's important vampire pirate or medieval are the only ones we actually have available so uh medieval 
Uh, comedy sounds good. So let's let's bear that in mind as we build a couple of sets. Um, I can't remember where to do stuff. Here we go. So set designer. So we're going to build a medieval set. Um, so we'll go set large uh, theme medieval. I mean, it's pretty awesome, isn't it? Look at that. And then we'll come to medieval in here. Uh, where are you? Medieval. There we go. Do we have a nice big... Um, there's no there's no big door, but I, I mean, I kind of love this throne. Look at that. Uh, or we can do king and queen next to each other. Uh, no, I think I kind of like the one there. That just sits there so well, doesn't it? Yeah, that's great. Okay, and then we can have this above. Can't really see it, but that's okay. And then this thing, uh, does that is that attached to the wall as well? Is it? Yeah. So we can't really have that along the back. Although that would probably be better there. Actually, let's. Uh, oops. Let's. Can we not move that? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, that's disappeared. Cool. That's more like it. There we go. And then we'll have this thing in the middle here. Not sure we'll ever even see it on the set. And we have some uh, suits of armor. Oh, I like those ones on the on the plinth. Yeah, sorry, we'll get rid of you. Uh, bludgeon. I will bludgeon that. There we go. Excellent. Uh, nice rug on the floor. That's good. And what is this thing? Oh, that's just a bench. Okay. So we'll do some benches here, and we'll have these sort of laid out as if it's, uh, you know, a, a court. The people here, they're seeing what's going on. Um, and then we'll continue these on either side, I think. Okay, that's a pretty cool. That's a currently 78 prestige. Now, what we could do, I'm sure it wouldn't matter too much if we, if we bring in a few other things that sort of fit, you know, because Vampire has some pretty cool stuff. It has a it has a cool door that is basically a medieval door. I, I, I can't see that being a huge problem, putting that in. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, you know, these wall candles. I mean, the, the back is already pretty... Uh, oh. It doesn't want to put one there for some reason. A little to put one there. Okay, well, this is just a, a fire hazard, but that's okay. Hmm. Okay, it's let's put them in. That's fine. Uh, what's that thing? Oh, a, oh, look at this column. This is great because this is gonna just help us uh, sort of bring a bit of depth to the scene. I like that a lot, actually. And these and these candle stands as well. Yeah, let's get those in because then we can do some cool angled shots and what have you. You know. I think that's pretty good, and that gives us a level 82 prestige. I mean, that seems good to me. Uh, so we'll call this the uh, Medieval Throne Room. There we go. And we, oops, we won't put a W on the end. We'll just click like that, and we'll save it. All right, so that's saved. And now I think what we can do is just sort of, uh, yes, you can reset everything. Oh, that's pretty good how it does that. Um, and let's go, yeah, yeah, everything can change. Mythology, uh, what's fantasy? I mean, fantasy is just basically the same thing, but again, but that's okay. Um, let's bludgeon. So we're doing this just as a as a varied, a varied set. So what does fantasy look like? Does that give us some different pieces here? Oh yeah, we like fantasy, chest. Fantasy money stack. Fantasy bookshelves. Oh, this is good. This is good. So, let's go back to vampire for a minute because I quite like the doors. Well, they don't quite fit in there nicely. Which was the one with the nice big door? Was it there? Pirate door? Like, I kind of like those. Okay, let's go back to fantasy for a minute. Uh, and there's a sword on the wall. Are we going to try and make this a... Uh, out of bounds. How about there? Objects intersecting. That's a shame, because a nice library would be would be pretty good here. I think with a map in the middle. Let's go there. 
All right, and then another one over this side. Bookcases all the way down, I think. Hmm. Okay, prefer. Uh, I think I prefer the bigger ones. Here we go. How's that? Yep, that's the same on both sides there. That's good. Uh, we'll get a chest in here. And, I mean, these things are just awesome. Fancy big big lights coming down this over the table. And then I'm actually going to go back to uh, Pirate because I think the uh, globe will work really well in this one as well. Uh, swords on the wall. Yeah, that looks good to me. So we'll call this one Medieval... Uh, this is the wizard study, isn't it? Obviously, look at it. Wizard study. There we go. And then we'll save that. File saves. Now, I hope that's... Oh, no. We should have clicked save as. Throne room. Wizard study. I think we just saved over... Uh, how far back can we go? How far back can we go? We maybe just have to redo this little bit here. So let's go to fantasy. Uh, was it fantasy? No, sorry. Uh, medieval. Oh, sorry. We'll change this to medieval as well. Yes, there we go. Uh, okay. And then we had these here. Uh, yeah, I think everything else is good. Okay. Well, I have 73 prestige now, so what difference did we have? Probably had other stuff. Oh, it looks like he's got rid of some benches and what have you. Um, oh, and the rug. Yes, of course, the rug. There we go. It's a big thing. And we've got a couple of those. And then we went to Vampire and had this door here, I believe. Put it on that side and just put one over here as well, I suppose. Uh, we had the pillars. Oh, we had these candles in the background. Oh, that's what we're missing. The, uh, the, 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 the hanging down bits. Yes, these things. These were great. Uh, let's do them here then, on either side of the bench. There we go. That's good. And then we'll save Medieval Throne Room. Save as. And we'll overwrite that one. All right. Okay. So that should give us, uh, that should give us two new uh, sets to work with that are sort of fantasy themed. We're going to come to our build mode and we're going to uh, sell that for a thousand bucks because why wouldn't we? We'll come down to our sets. Here we go. So we have pirate booty, pirate there. So medieval study is... Oh, is that not even going to fit in there? My word, these take up a lot of space. Okay, so medieval study over here. And throne room. There. Okay. Wow, this thing's huge. All right, but there we go. These are two new sets. This is what we're spending the profit of the last uh, film on, basically. And we're going to make a movie out of those. But first of all, we're going to come into build mode and kit them out. So we're going to put a good camera and a good camera. And lights all around. There we go. And we'll do the same on this one. We've got the money. We might as well flaunt it. There we go. We'll do nice lights all around too. Okay, so that's a couple of couple of solid sets there, I think. Uh, now we'll come to our production and we'll start making a uh, movie of medium budget. That's going to be. Did we say comedy in the end? I think we did, didn't we? Uh, medieval comedy with a PG audience. Uh, Darnell Potts is going to do that. Lloyd is going to be the producer. Our writers will be uh, the brothers. They're not brothers, but they look it. 
Uh, okay, so what's important in a medieval comedy? I mean, it really is dialogue, atmosphere, uh, the story's got to be good, the law's got to be good, conflict has to be a little, when it doesn't have to be suspenseful, it's not gory, it's not intimate. There we go, and that's happy there. Okay, it's going to be called The Righteous Book. No, it's not. It's going to be called King uh, King Camelot's uh, Caper. There we go. That's a, that's a comedy movie. A Camelot was a place, not a king. I know this, but it's alliteration is good. Uh, it's a, f a f completely female cast once again. Uh, we, we These are still nobodies, right? I don't really know how we work on that, but you are definitely a... Uh, uh, first lead, there we go, that's the three of you. So base type 100, height bonus 850, that's pretty good. It's going to cost us 100,000, that's fine. Uh, we have to do uh, four sets, so we throw a, seat, a stunt scene in there. Yeah, I want, I want to throw a scene in there, but I would like to move it. Can we move that around? Extra scenes are only used for cosmetic purposes. They do not affect the cost, filming, or quality of the film. Oh, well, let's get rid of that then. Uh, all right. So choose the set. We're going to start in the throne room. Uh, let's direct the scene. Uh, we've got the three of them all stood here. That's good. They're all in their medieval outfits. So lady here is going to come. Oops. Were we a little far out there, were we? All right, and she's going to be chatting. Three of them are going to be chatting back. I wonder if we can get away with some uh, costumes here. I mean, chef, crew, do any of these look a little... I mean, the vampire one's fine. Um, and pirate one's probably fine as well. Is there a... I mean, the, the zombie one, it gives all makeup and everything. It's pretty insane, really. Uh... The Western one? No. Superhero space. We could do like a Spaceman in King Arthur's Court type thing. Uh, mythology fantasy is probably okay. Yeah, there we go. You're in three cool costumes now. Nice. Um, camera movements. Now, how do we... How do we do... We're, we're, gonna fo we're definitely going to focus on Francis because she's right there. Uh, we're, we're probably going to zoom, zoom out so we can see her. There we go. Uh, so linger time is pretty low. What does that actually mean? That doesn't really seem to do anything. Oh, but we're on Francis. There we go. Uh, we'll zoom right in. There we go. So she's chatting away to them. Uh, range of motion. Okay, we just want a slow, a slow pan, don't we? There we go. Yeah, that's all we want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chat, 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 chat. Okay, cool. Uh, you, you're not going to be talking. You're angry. That's not angry enough. Yeah, that's better. Oh, she's not happy. There we go. And then you're going to be idle one. And you are going to be idle two. So the queen is shouting at the her staff there we go all right cool scene two uh we'll do the same and this time uh it's gonna be there and it's going to be uh let's have a look what have we got i kind of like the gun plays <laughs> Uh, ah, she's holding the hatchet. That's a bit weird. Nope, no. Nope. Uh, this is all. There we go. That seems such a strange short piece of walking. Okay, yes, we'll have the other two running away while she. She, yeah, she's, she, there we go. She's going to be flexing. There we go. And then you are going to be here. You, it'd be nice if you kept your costume. I'm pretty sure you were in uh, fantasy regalia. And you were in uh, 
vampire. There we go. We're going to give you the animation of uh, running. Oh, oh, no, no, no. That's not good. <laughs> oh, no, I can't click you. There we go. You're going <laughs> to you're gonna come there. You're going to come there, and you're going to be running... Oh, you're running a bit weird. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, good. So they're both running off. And then they're coming to the wizard study. So you're not going to be in this scene. It's going to be these two plotting. Uh, oh, we didn't do the camera on the last one. That's fine. We'll figure that out. So you're going to be over here. I mean, you actually are just going to be talking to each other. That's, that's This is a pretty boring scene. But there we go. Uh, but costumes again. Uh, costumes, vampire, uh, fantasy, there we go. Yep, there's going to be chat in there, camera movements, going to pan from one to the other, uh, pan to each actor, there we go. That's good, focus height, this is a little higher, camera zoom right in, that's good, motion speed is slow. What do you think about this? A lot of rubbish in it. Cool. And then a final scene. He's back in the in the now is it in the study? No, it's not. It's in the throne room, and it's going to be the queen. Is going to be killed. We all seem to kill them, but to be honest with you, like the actions we have to work with. Oh. Whoa. I mean, that's pretty cool. That's, that's that not a stunt. I mean, that's a pretty cool stunt. Uh, let's have that happen here. There we go. You. There we go. Can we give you... Which way do you go? Yeah, there. And we'll give you the axe, why not? Let's just go axe. <laughs> okay, costumes then. Uh, you are still uh, fantasy and you are vampire. Boof, there we go. Oh, camera movement, we need a lot of, lot of shake. And the zoom, boof. Maybe not quite that much shake. Ah, oh, cool. What a movie. Let's go for it. Here we go. Okay, so they're straight onto it. That's good. Again, the screenplay ridden. King Camelot's caper. It seemed hilarious when we were designing it. Whether it not will or not, I don't know. And now this time, what we're going to do is we're going to reshoot a lot of stuff, I think. We're going to, because it did say that reshoots are better. So we'll uh, we'll see if it really matters. We'll speed up. I mean, the lighting looks good. Let's see if we can get right in here and, and have a look. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's going to be a screenshot. Okay. Uh, there we go. That scene one done. So that scene rating is 63. That's pretty good. Uh, but we can come into here and we can click reshoot. I'm going to click reshoot. There you are. They all went off for lunch. And they came back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, they're filming number two at the minute, but that's okay. Uh, we definitely probably want to go into film editing at some point. 65 for the first, for the scene two. Are they done for the day? Yeah, okay. So 63% on scene one. We'll see whether or not the reshoot is really worth it. All right, sorry, the day ran away from me. Set The set one got a reshoot, went up to 64%, so it really wasn't worth doing. Although this one here, 57%, just not good enough. We are going to reshoot that as well. Um, so they're going to get this final scene down first. That one gets 65, that's fine. We need a reshoot on, set th on scene three. It's just not, it was a boring scene to be fair. Uh, okay. They're, they're, they're currently reshooting it. And it went from... 
It's still 57. It's the weakest part of the movie, but it is what it is. Otherwise, I actually think that's pretty good. So let's go to uh, finish filming. So there's that, this is the big issue at the minute. There's no like editor. There's no script editor. There's no there's no scene editor unless it happens somewhere else. Maybe it happens before we get this far. We'll release it. Uh, I think the problem is uh, oh, we're in June, by the way. I wonder if we can bring in another researcher. We did say we were going to do that. Yes, we can. Caroline House, nice. Are you any good? She's stressed. Nice. Well, there you go. Um, you're going to go there, I guess. That's good. Tomorrow you can come and get some work done. And is research even helping? Are we up to a thousand now? We are up to a thousand now. Okay, well that's something. Okay, what do people think? Uh, switch to movies after a career in documentaries. Obviously you can't escape your past. Uh, really elevates the film, despite not having much to elevate. Still an admirable performance. Nice. Uh, disturbingly generic story and execution. After a long introduction, King Salmon's Caper finds its pacing and delivers. Okay. Show our score breakdown. Um... Some of them aren't so happy about it. We actually got to fairly unknown now from nobodies. I mean, that seems a positive. They're finally getting onto the to the scene. Uh, oh, okay. This is the bar that's going up. So Sophia, yeah, and Nadine, yeah, yeah. So basically, our producer, our director, and our first actor. So the original three are all at fairly unknown now. Okay, that's good. The writers get no credit at all. Never mind. It only took three months to produce, though, which is good. Cost us 134000 and we got a decent amount of hype, I feel. So 64% screenplay. Uh, the theme was good. The sliders were okay. Producer and... Okay, technical. Our lights were really great this time because we put a lot of them in. We put more cameras in that helped. The set prestige was okay. Did you... Presses you set affected by the set size and furnishing. Okay, so we can definitely increase that by just putting a lot more stuff in the sets, I guess. Uh, they were all cool to look at, and we currently have no post-production or practical effects, or, or it's, they're still silent movies, I'm assuming. Okay, that's not bad. I feel like that's probably... Yes, we got our number one movie! Nice! So we now have Fairly Unknown, and we did... We made 1.2 million, my goodness. That was amazing. 64 over... Oh, easily the best movie we've ever done. That's fantastic. Amazing work. Good good job, folks. Now, do we just keep getting rid of these sets and building new ones each time? Because that definitely seems to help. And it definitely really seems to help to just have a lot of stuff in them as well. Very busy sets seems to be good. We could technically come over and, and redo here. But that was huge. We we're up to, up to number one. Lot prestige, land prestige, buildings prestige. Indicates how many high prestige indoor furniture and equipment you own. Yeah, so we can definitely do some better stuff there. Building maintenance is fine. And we now have... Uh, these are all the movies we've done. Um, King in 1921. Easily our best movie. Yeah, nice. And we also got best looking studio and best studio in 1920. That's amazing. I mean, that if if this doesn't clean up... At the awards next year, I don't know what will, because that was good. All right, we're into July. I mean, we can we can almost take a little bit of time off, but to be honest with you, there isn't really much else to do in the game at the moment. You have to remember this is early access. You know, it's just still being worked on. We now have three researchers in, so the only thing we can really do is increase our uh, increase our research budget. What's that? Forty percent room prestige. Yeah, so maybe we spend a bit of time working on room prestige now that we have a little bit of a bankroll. Um, let's have a look. Research is 1600 before we can do our high budget. Uh, we do have the ability to do drama and western. We could do a western. They were very popular in the early days of cinema. Um, but otherwise, we're really just waiting for stuff to unlock the high oxygen production size in products. Oh man, we made another nearly million dollars there. This is insane. And we can do blockbuster eventually as well. That's crazy. Okay, so unlocked. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, really the only thing we've got to unlock here is we can do drama. Although I don't think we really need to. I think the main thing I want to work towards is high budget. So we're going to let the RP uh, roll in. Let's see. Can we even hire more researchers? Oops. Researcher. Oh, Jackie Ingram. You're hired. Get to work. Um, and we may even increase this we can do another two desks in there no problem so let's have a look what's our room prestige here it's only 51 so we're going to come in here and look at improving it so we go indoor uh decorations 
I assume all of these add prestige. What we can just do is, you know, start increasing the size of these rooms. Oops. Yeah. You're going to be there. And then uh, objects. Do, 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 do. There we go. I don't know whether these are needed or not. People, the last video, people were saying they were. I'm, I'm not sure they were. I think it was just because we were taking the, the things from the wrong space. Um, so let's do. We'll do this here. And we'll do that there. Let's have a look. Decorations. No, not decorations. Objects. Producer office. Or is it just general? General. No. There it is. Yep, that's fine. We'll now get a pool table in. Oh, what's that thing? Oh, and a foosball table as well. I and mean, this guy just loves the games, right? Um, we'll get some art on the walls. There we go. I mean, the producer's got to have the cool looking place, right? Got to. Get a drinks fountain in there. Um, a couple of radiators just for the the occasional day. It's cool. And then he has an eighty-one percent room prestige. I mean, we can go higher. I don't mind going higher. Where's the uh, where's the AC units? There. Eighty-five percent. My goodness, we need to go higher. Have we got to make it Christmas? Is that what we? Is that what we're learning here? Uh, decorations. What have we not put in? We don't have that piece of art in here. Put that down, I suppose. And we do have a plant. We can do a second plant. Can we do a second plant? There we go. What's that like now? 85%. It doesn't get any higher than that. All right. Maybe the, maybe the, the size is good. Darnell Potts now works in there. There we go. Does that help this number at all? Buildings prestige. We're at 67%. Okay, so now then, let's do the same with the rider's office. Bearing in mind we were at 67%. We'll bring you back to here. There we go. Uh, oh, we have to affect the wall patterns there. Is it that one? No. There we go. That's fine. Uh, objects for the writer's office. We'll uh, let's go. I kind of like the desks back to back. I think that works pretty well. Oops. Uh, where's the chair? There. Nice. Okay. Do that there. We got some of these in over this side. Uh, this side is what I mean. Okay. There we go. Uh, decorations. Where is just the general bookcases? There we go. General bookcase. Uh, we have a radiator that side. We'll put one over here as well. We'll get the AC unit in, which is definitely more likely to be used. Uh, oh, we have one in already. Ignore me. Uh, we have a drinks cabinet even already. Uh, let's get some, do these, can these go outside? Yeah, they're probably better outside, aren't they? Uh, let's have a look, decorations. I mean, I guess it has a pool table as well. <laughs> Just pool tables all around. That's fine. How did that do? 68%. We got 1%. <laughs> we were at 67, but we were at 63 we might have been at 63. Maybe maybe it isn't worth <laughs> maybe it wasn't worth that much effort. Okay, they're back in. The researchers are researching. We're in September 21 now. It's autumn. Not sure that affects much. Uh where's our research tab? Research tab is oh man, this this really comes in slow. Although I'm pretty sure I saw that that was a, a known issue uh, in, in some patch notes. They were like, yes, we, we understand that that's, uh, that's coming in slow. Uh, we're down to two. We have three million in the bank. I mean, we should really be making 
the biggest movie ever, should we not? Um, this is doing okay. I will say that we can now come here. I'm pretty sure we can start putting stars in. Uh, fairly unknown. Yeah, choose star. We can actually put all of these in here. Like that. This does cost us money. But um, but I, I think we get something from it. There we go. I just realized we didn't actually click that. There we go. Reds. There we go. There we go. Minimum required. So I don't I don't know what that gets us. Poor Terry's not this is the homes wanna be stars that either just started their journey or will never make it. Um We just put people in these, have we not? Yeah. Okay. So we've put Pillybid in there. That's going to cost us money. I don't actually know what it, what what it does though. But I know that's something you can do. It has put this back up to one. Does it? Does it have? Is it any of these? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Actually, okay. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna get let the game run a little bit, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see if maybe 1922 brings us some technology. Ah, taking on taking on all those uh, researchers has meant that our canteen is no longer big enough. So, I we have a really good room prestige on the canteen. So I I don't necessarily want to make it any bigger. But what I will do is spend a little bit of time just adding some more chairs because it was pretty uh, pretty low uh, capacity to begin with. To be honest with you, we can. Uh, we can definitely bring in a bit of space here. So let's go there, there, uh, there, there. That's good. And then we'll go here. Here. It doesn't seem like they have to get around the place, to be honest with you. But we want to make it look like they can. Um, and we'll go here, here. There we go. There we go. And actually, do you know what we can also do? Um, I actually like the windows in this place. We should have more of them along this wall here. Can we? No? We can't have windows along there. Okay. Ted of Bounds. Oh, we might have just built the whole thing a little bit too close to the edge. That's fine. How about some artwork then? Uh, decorations. Let's do the same. No, that one. Let's put that there either. Okay, well, that's a blank wall then. It's a feature piece. All right. We'll see how that gets on. Um, the, uh, the the research is coming in. Fairly better now we have four staff. I, I, I'm still tempted to stick another two desks in there, if I'm completely honest with you. Uh, who are you? Are you researchers? Caroline House. You've got leisure time, but your leisure time is staying in the office because you're a nerd. Um, Alice Vegas. You are a slacker and a quick learner as well, though. That's good. And you are a researcher. I'm going to hire you. Uh, I know you have no desk right now, but we can fix that. Objects. We chose to office. Desk. We can literally go another two there and there. Yeah. We need a big research department. That's the thing. Now we can also assign you, I think. There we go. And then maybe even bring in another one? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Okay, I think maybe I didn't click the awards thing quick enough. But instead we've just got them here. Uh, so we gained... Uh, hit Captain Nobis Hidden Hall won something. King's Camelot's Caper won something. Uh, the films in general got employee happiness, hype on all products... Uh, 20% ticket sales boost on products. That's nice. Um, otherwise, we were nominated here. Uh, we got the best screenplay. And we got best movie for King Camelot's Caper. Love to see it. Uh, Geek is a film for best looking studio, most profitable studio, and best studio. Nice. So we got... so. Oh, I see. And this is an overview of what we got. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know why. I, I may, It might have just popped up here while I wasn't paying attention. But um, yeah, we need to start working on another movie, I guess. January 2022. Did it offer anything as far as research goes? Equipment? 
No, my concern is that this doesn't change until 1930, and to be honest with you, these years take a long time. Um, yeah, I think maybe this stuff needs to be uh, looked at and, and tweaked a little bit because it just seemed to be a long time making black and white movies. Um, but again, you know, this game is in early access. I think when you're watching this, it comes out today. Um, this was a, a preview copy that I got sent for the developers, so it may well be that there's going to be updates. Oh, well, I'm sure there are updates coming very soon uh, for that sort of stuff. I would like to see the scale move a little bit forward because at the moment I'm just making lots and lots of black and white movies for millions of dollars. So, um, yeah. But there we go. We made an epic movie, at least, and it got us some nice awards, and it got us some uh, uh, decent stats and what have you. So, uh, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll come back. We'll do one more, I think, and uh, we'll just have another look at some of the other set pieces. Maybe we'll try a sci-fi movie or something. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Till the next one, be good.